tonight in farming where someone's entire livelihood can depend on the randomness of the weather any leg up is welcome technologies are advancing in agriculture though and david guilford shows us a site that could be a lot more common soon in maine for centuries farmers have had to learn to do things efficiently but these days in some maine fields things are looking downright sci-fi This is a DJI Agris T40 drone. It's massive, 250 pounds fully loaded. And today, it's loaded with winter rye seed. When we roll up with the, with the drone, everyone's pretty excited. It's like, you feel like a kid again. Tom Massey is the leader of this operation. On an August morning, he was at a farm in Knox, spreading rye seed over a cornfield. Farmers would have to wait until they cut the corn to go and spread the cover crop seed, um, not to damage anything. And so we're getting the seeds out there earlier, germinated earlier, stabilizing the soil. Four years earlier, Tom founded a business called Active Intelligence in Rockland with his dad, Tim. It's worked out pretty well. Um, we've worked together before, so this isn't the first time. As a mentor and business partner, it's been fantastic. Along with their pilot perched high. And then are you gonna let the rest of the grain out? Of they make up a pit crew of sorts. The drone can spread 10 gallons of seed or pesticide in as little as five minutes and empty its battery nearly as quickly. But as long as the team works efficiently, this is a promising frontier, with the key word being frontier. There's only one agricultural drone, licensed agricultural drone pilot in Maine, and that's Tom. Dr. Lily Calderwood is a wild blueberry specialist at the UMaine Cooperative Extension. She's in the middle of multiple research projects with Massey, studying what he and pilots who come after him can offer farmers. The benefits are really that it decreases the contact, the human contact with pesticides, which is great. Um, so for human health, that's that's a big deal. It also re can reduce the area that you apply the pesticide to. The ability of these drones and the, the flight and the contactless farming for routine spraying, spreading, and seeding is revolutionary. And we're really excited to be the guys that are on the cutting edge of that here in Maine and the Northeast. Massey is able to measure the exact dimensions of this field and chart every bump and tree, meaning the drone and its payload go exactly where he wants it. Yeah. Greg Ingraham is fourth generation at Gold Top Farm and hired Tom for the second year in a row because the drone can get places his tractors sometimes just can't. And last year was so wet, so it was an advantage for us. We took in the advantage of it because it was, we wouldn't got there until the end of November. It wouldn't have seeded down. Is that because you wouldn't be able to bring your tractor? Correct, correct. It was so wet. There is much to learn about this technology, including how it might impact farm employees negatively or positively. But this is no longer science fiction in Maine. It's a real win-win for the farmers and for us in a unique industry where kind of, you know, horse to tractor, tractor to, to drone in certain types of situations. This is going to change things for yeah, farmers big time. This is something that most of us have never heard of. I certainly hadn't, and I had no idea that there were drones as big as that. I mean, yeah. David said it's, you know, it's about the size of this desk almost, huge, the table. Huge, huge. And to think, I'm already blanking on how much distance it could cover, but 10 minutes? That's wild. Yeah. Think of how long it took yeah. to plant seeds in the past. Anyway, okay, you heard the UMaine professor say Tom is the only pilot she's aware of in the entire state, and Tom believes this industry will grow rapidly, so he also sells drones and wants to train others who are interested in getting started.